Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, Tony DeFrank, I'm back with our May 2023 uh, covering classic cars. I'm here with Sean Killian. Uh, him and his family joined us for our Father's Day shoot. So if you get our catalog in your email or in your mailbox at home, you're going to see his beautiful, I don't know how to describe your truck and trailer, but it's incredible. So um, thanks for participating. Thanks for helping Thank us you out. for being here. Yeah. Um, here we came down to Sean's uh, awesome, unique shop, and we'll get into that. But um, okay, GMC COE is what it started as, and then yeah. the trailer was just like recently finished. So tell us a little about those. It's just a it's a 1940 GMC COE. We uh, chopped it eight inches, and we started with a cab. We built the box through U-Haul. Got <laughs> lots of U-Haul parts, the corners and the cab tops and all that, and then. Um, Got some great painters, uh, Nick at Loose Cannon Customs and Todd Howe did all the lettering and um, I found a 1947 Westcraft travel trailer so we put all new skin on it, put an inside in it and we haul our Bonneville salt flat car in it. Yeah, so it looks I guess like a custom car hauler and matching trailer but no, I think the first time I saw this was at maybe Del Mar two years ago maybe? Yeah. Maybe a bit, it might have been. And I, I walk up and see Sean and you're sitting inside of it and there's, uh, there's sofas in it and the side pops up. So what, did you just kind of, was this a project that like kept steamrolling with ideas or this is the plan from the start? No, originally it was going to be just a car hauler, but then it could start to get really long and um, so we decided to just make a box. So when I go to El Mirage, when we tow up the race car, I have a little place to sleep. So the couch, it's a leather couch that folds into a bed. And, uh, You're ready to go. We're ready to go. <laughs> and then, and what about so the trailer? So I realize that, that so your land speed car goes in there. Mm -hmm. So that was the intention from the get go. Yep. And um, and I guess like, it seems like your shop here would be like that. Like Mike and the American Pickers guys would want to hang out here like all day. We have a and, lot of collectibles. And, that's and, for sure. And there's vehicles hanging on the walls, and we'll show some shots of that. But um, I guess how'd you get into pot riding or land speed? Or? Well, I was real lucky because my father owned an auto repair shop for 50 years out in El Cajon. So I've been around cars my whole life and uh, just really caught the bug. Uh, started going to Bonneville in about 2008 and uh, we've raced motorcycles to cars to anything with a motor. And I think it's all on display here. And either, either in the main shop or in your side buildings that you have, there's, it's definitely like, this is your place. And, yep. and, um, and I was, usually I try to do a little research of where we're shooting, but I was like, Sean, has, he has cars, there's plenty of space. Like, uh, tell us about quality plating. What happens here? And so we're just a powder coating house. We have a 20 foot oven, 20 foot spray booth, 20 foot uh, sandblasting room, uh, little individual ovens for small projects. But uh, we pretty much only cater to motorcycle and car enthusiasts. Uh, we're small and we want to stay that way. So <laughs> that's all we do. We just, and in my free time, we build cars. And, and you uh, can build them in here. We build them in here. We got a, you saw the shop in the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, my son has a chopped five window Model A that he built in high school. So when he was in high school, I was helping him because I had a little shop and uh, he turned to me one day and said, Dad, I want to build this myself. Why don't you just build your own hot rod? <laughs> so I built the uh, 28 Lincoln Zephyr Roadster that was America's most beautiful contender in 17 mm -hmm. and uh, just been building more cars since. Yeah, and, um, and definitely you go around the shop here, like I mean, if you're into Bonneville and Lance Pete and then there's you know, tons of moon eyes, uh, signage and I guess maybe in the shop and actually in the truck itself and then there's rat fink, there's monsters and aliens and there's there's like so everything that you've been into your whole life is on display here yes I had to get a shop because my wife said I couldn't keep it all at home so <laughs> we hear that a lot so now um a really cool take I know there's some people off on the side here you may but um you know we thought it was maybe you and your son but then your father we got your nephew we got and then I guess our mutual friend Greg, who kind of introduced us like years ago, like just hanging yeah. out in town this weekend. So it was kind of like a big. It was really a surprise. Big, big party that kind of this whole all, 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 all day today at the at your show. Yeah, I was so lucky to be surrounded by such great friends, which is you pick up in this hot rod world. Greg Dravis being one of them. Most of this stuff he made, as you know, the metal signs and 
the the big 200 mile an hour club and the Joe Hunts and the Moon Eyes were originally just tin signs, and then I had them neon bent for them mm -hmm. and yeah, turned them into yeah, big signs. Talented guy, and yeah, for many many years you saw his signs on our on our catalog on our website. So it was just kind of it was a it was a good day to pull this a photo shoot off, and we lucked out. I think it seems like the last four or five weeks has been raining here. And so yes. we found like a sunny day, a little breezy, but we got a sunny day to show off your, your truck and trailer. And we're, you know, I'm glad you could uh, kind of spend some time with us. What, um, what else about the, the COE is, I guess, um, unique? Like what's that from engine modifications? Well, it's, uh, it's sitting on a 2000 GMC 3500. Uh, we totally airbagged it, put a big axle in the rear, um, big brakes. On your way to Bonneville, you go down some very big grades, pulling trailers, so I didn't want to skimp on that. And um, it's just a real turnkey, got a little Vortex 5.7, gets about 18 miles a gallon, so it's just like driving a little Chevy truck. Yeah, and you, see, you drive it quite a bit, so how do you I do? Any, a good idea of how many miles you put on it since you finished it? About 15,000 already. Right. I've taken it to Bonneville a couple times, uh, drove it on the salt. Drive it to, I went up to uh, Sacramento for the Autorama, which we were very fortunate to win best truck at the Autorama as well. So it's always fun to build cars. Yeah. And so, you know, you showed, um, saw some of the next projects. So what else is coming up? What's the next project that you're trying to get done? I'm in the middle of a 33 three window. It's got a Kugel chassis, an LS2 with an eight stack injection and quick change rear end. Um, kind of going 90s style just because I think that why not that's gonna come it's, back it's, it's you know it's coming like you go to the like like all those cars you see now like you go to the like the, like the CK pickups and your yeah nine the Porsches like the, that bright paint it's all the, the scallops the and Chevy splash, vans all, Dodge the vans. vans are coming it's all, back it's all hard. coming for sure it's, it's definitely around the corner so so it's gonna have like bill of wheels big tires yep. in the back oh. it's got it all oh yeah and uh Air conditioning and such, so now my wife will ride with She'll me. She'll go with you. Hey, happy roasters happy are yeah. terrible cars. Right. Yeah, let's see. My, my folks are in the roaster club, and right. they got a. My dad had to get a 36 because he, he kind of rolled up the windows for my mom to keep her happy. So I, I get it. I know. I, We're the same way. Yeah, you got to do it. Hey, um, else, you know, really just, you know, like, I ran out of questions here. Well, you know, you, I'll, I'll I can tell you. And you covered the, the, the build, the shop here. Um, you know, we'll show some clips of all the other cool stuff that's going on because this is this incredible place and thanks for the hospitality to Rick, no, Connor, and me. So. Thank you so much for coming down and I just have to tell you, it was always such a delight to see your father at the LA Roaster Show and going through the, your little booth with all the new stuff <laughs> and that was the highlight of my yeah. growing up, yeah. I want to say growing up because... Yeah. Yeah, he's been doing it forever, uh, he's, you know, he was going to come down here with me today, he was like, oh, he's all excited but... Um, he had a, a roaster club meeting today, and there's uh, some the board meetings that he had to go, and he's like, I can't miss it. I'm like, ah, because yeah. he would love to catch up with you and Greg and just um, see everything. Well, we'll definitely see you at the LA Roaster Show. You know what? I will be in town for it this year, so. Uh, Looks I'll, awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to it always. Yeah, so he'll be out the swamp meet, so I'm sure you'll be looking for stuff. He'll be out there. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to be selling. You'll be selling. He'll, he'll, he'll do it too, so we'll catch up with you. But yeah, thank well, you so much. Thank hey, you for always. coming out. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Good. It's uh, again our May edition. You'll see some amazing, more, uh, much more amazing photos and video clips of, of Sean's shop and uh, the COE uh, online soon. So thank you so much.